When it comes to a prophetic word, that prophetic word, it is supposed to be a product of God's finished work. So then God is giving you a glimpse out of his reservoir, oh glory, of wisdom and knowledge regarding future. And so now you speak on what God has told you. Well, the problem is when you say, and this might have gone right over somebody's head. Watch, I declare that your time of struggle is over. And I declare that your new season has come in. Well, sounds great, but you can't do that because you're not the determining factor to my season, nor am I to yours. And in many cases, that time and that season, are they are predicated off of either obedience or disobedience. What do you mean? There's a place of obedience that can turn a time, shift a season. But there's also an act of disobedience that can prolong what God has available or what God has in store for you. Yes, there's a season of harvest. Yes, there's a season of breakthrough. Yes, there's a season of joy. The Bible said it. But those seasons are determined on how you act, how you obey or disobey. So I can't go to someone who is walking in blunt rebellion. As the Bible says, is likened unto witchcraft. So I can't go to a worker of witchcraft and say to them, your season has come. No, they're in violation of God's word. So I don't have the right to override the law of God's word to shift them into a new season. No, if anything, I am leading them further into their delay. Lord, you're